Here is our interview with Miss Allie Brook. Hello, Allie Brook, and welcome to the Pop Shop Podcast. <laughs> Oh, hey, thank you so much for having me, girl. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. You know, you and uh, Fifth Harmony have been guests before on the podcast, but this is your first time here all by yourself um, because you have something very close yeah. to your heart to talk about. So what can you tell us about your work with, um, with March of Dimes around Prematurity Awareness Month? Yes. Uh, well, I'm so excited that I'm able to be working with March of Dimes because um, my personal story is, when I was born, I was born a premature baby. I was about, uh, yeah, like, definitely about like six weeks early. And um, I was born one pound, 14 ounces, which is really crazy. I was so tiny that I could fit into my dad's hands. He would literally carry me in his hand. Um, and the doctor came out when I was born, and he said, hey, you have two good things going for you. You know, don't have my parents. And he was like, one, she's a girl, and girls do better than boys as far as, you know, surviving and um, as far as uh, just health-wise. And two, she came out screaming, which was unheard of because her lungs should not have been developed. Um, so that is my personal story. And um, knowing what my family went through as far as, you know, being really, of course, scared and nervous, um, and, you know, me fighting through every single day to survive. I really, really, really wanted to be able to help other families um, like mine to be able to um, help babies and families who are going through this and, and who, are, who are struggling um, of having a premature baby. And you mentioned that you came out screaming. Were your parents pretty sure that you were going to do something important with those lungs one day? <laughs> Well, it's funny because they they like to joke that I came out singing instead of screaming. <laughs> so they always did. That was really cute. <laughs> yeah, and what can uh, what can your harmonizers do to to help with the cause? Yeah, well, they can go to marchofdimes.org to find out what they need to know about premature birth. Um, there are a lot of opportunities to to donate, volunteer and to what to save little babies like me. You know, it's a big time for you and Fifth Harmony. You guys uh, just finished a European tour, and, and now you're working on the follow-up to Reflection. So how's it been to get back in the studio and, and start making new music again and, and start looking toward that next album? It's been really, really great. I mean, this time around, we're very adamant about what we want, and um, we make sure that our voice is being heard. We're very hands-on on the type of sound we want and the type of message we want to portray and also just the lane that it's going. And it's really, it's a lot of fun. Um, we're experimenting a lot. We're creating a lot. Um, and we're really happy because we, we're actually being able to really contribute um, with what we want. And as far as the sound, the sound ranges from pop, R&B, Urban, there's a little bit of even reggae feel to it, even a little bit of kind of uh, the electronic sound that you're hearing a lot today on the radio. It's really, really fun, and we're incorporating more harmonies, and we're being able to sing, which is, <laughs> which is so important. <laughs> yeah, and you said you're so able... We're kind of different. You said you're able to contribute a little bit more. Does that mean that you're kind of bringing in your own stories and actually collaborating with songwriters and, and getting in at the songwriting process? Yes, for sure. I mean, we were able to more so talk to the songwriters, you know, about the topics that we want to talk about. You know, of course, keeping the, the girl power theme and also just the, the self-empowerment theme, as well as talking about love and heartbreak, having the time with your friends and, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, but we've been able to talk to the writers and say, hey, you know, this is what we like, this is... Um, the way we want to go in, and they've been really good at collaborating with us. And also, um, if we don't like a lyric, we've been able to tweak it on our own, kind of be like, hey, let's do this word instead. So it's been really, really great this time around. That's really exciting. It sounds like it's going to be a lot more personal this time, which is great for your fans, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. The good thing is, um, well, what we wanted especially was, to, because we didn't have a lot of vulnerability and a lot of, actually I don't think we even had really any valid on the Reflection album, it was really important for us to be like, hey, guess what? We are having a valid 
um, on this album, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> we're all on the same page. We wanted to be more dynamic, for sure. Um, and that's what we're doing, and I'm so excited to be able to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, you had your first uh, Top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 this year with Worth It. Um, when you were making Reflection, did you guys have any idea that that was going to be the one that was going to be the breakout song? Oh, my goodness. No, well, I remember the day we heard it in the studio. Um, our A&R played it for us. She pressed bass bar, and then the first thing we hear was, Did you feel any sort of pressure from that? Like, you need to repeat that success again with that song? Um, no, not really. At the end of the day, we just want to make music that's authentic to us. Yeah. And, um kind of portray that to the, to the world and to our audience, and we really hope that people get a true representation of who we are on this album, and obviously we want it to be um, successful and hopefully um, help us grow even more, but at the end of the day, we want to make music that's true to us. And the hits, that would be fun. Yeah, <laughs> the, the hits will just come. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, since, and since we're on with Billboard, we have to congratulate you for um, being named Group of the Year at this year's Billboard Me- Women in Music. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you guys for that. Like, that was unbelievable. I mean, I just, there are really no words. But we're, we're just so honored and so extremely thankful I'm thank- thankful to the Billboard for constantly supporting us. Thankful to our fans for being so passionate and, and loyal as they are. Uh, thankful to everybody who's really supported us and believed in us. Well, it's very much deserved. And, I mean, it's been a huge year for you guys. What mm-hmm. What has this year meant for you and the group? And, you know, obviously you've earned this this group of the year title. What is What is the year meant for you personally? The year, this year has been crazy. It's been the, probably the craziest year of my life. <laughs> um, you know, we've been through so much as a group, as people and as artists, and, of course, trying to find our sound and who we are and um, the fact that we had um, a hit and, oh, my gosh, all these doors just kind of opened and, and so many of our favorite artists we've been able to meet and interact with and, and even get uh, comments from them, having our fan base grow and having them constantly support us. Um, we were just in Europe and we were able to have a tour over there. There's so much to be thankful for. And for us, I mean, it's just all, for me, it's about gratitude, you know, yeah. because not a lot of people get this opportunity. And we know what we've been through. We know how hard we've worked. And to be here is so amazing. And we're just, I'm taking in every single moment and, I'm just so thankful. So thank you to everybody out there who supported us, seriously. And at that event next month, you're going to be rubbing elbows with some serious superstars. Uh, there's going to be Lady Gaga, Missy Elliott, Loretta Lynn, um, just legends and, and fellow female um, <laughs> <laughs> musicians. I know! <laughs> Who are you most excited to see and to meet? And, I mean, also, you know, people that you've obviously come up with, Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, they're all there, too. Like, who are you most excited to see? Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, anybody you named, really. I mean, there's so much talent in there. So much girl power. I'm just so proud of, of all of us and what we've been able to achieve um, this year. Um, it would be really, really cool to see um, Selena. I really admire her and, and personally I'm a big fan of her and especially um, everything she stood up for. And she, um, like me, has a lot of faith. And I think that's so awesome. And she's able to do what she loves still and be in the music industry. It's so great. Um, Lady Gaga, too, we tried to one time randomly ran into her at the studio, and she was really nice. Um, but obviously, we were both working, so it was very, very, very brief. But to be able to kind of see her in person and hopefully be able to talk to her would be so amazing because she's another extraordinary talent, um, and that's going to be crazy to be in the same room as her. Also, Demi, of course, she's had an insane year. Her talent is, like, so, so big too it's, it's crazy I mean the list can go on and on really yeah it's gonna be a fun night <laughs> it, I know it's such a good group of women so yeah it'll be it'll be a great night um and you know just to to wrap things up uh uh do you kind of hope that you know in your work with March of Dimes and in your bandmates work with other charities that you'll kind of inspire the harmonizers to do the same in their own communities and get out there and kind of you know pick a cause and and stand behind it 
Oh my gosh, of course. I mean, anything that is uh, passionate, that you're passionate about, anything that's close to your heart, I completely encourage you to just support that and stand by it. I mean, it's just simple. You don't even have to really, you know, join a huge organization or anything like that. It starts with you in your own community, just being kind to one another, being supportive of one another, and, and loving and respectful. I can't tell you how far that will go in life. <laughs> So just being able to do that and, um, you know, smile to the person next to you, smile to a stranger and make a new friend, make a new person feel welcome. I mean, there's so many things you can do to help your community and ultimately to help the world because if we were all kind, if we were all loving and respectful to one another, this world would be so different. So it, it starts with, with you and you can do it. Don't let anything hold you back. That is a beautiful note to end on. Allie, thank you so much for your time. We love Fifth Harmony on the Pop Shop Podcast so much and at Billboard, so it's a pleasure anytime we get to talk to you or any of your bandmates, so thank you. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate it, and thank you so much for supporting the girls, and I means a lot.